happy ending or not, these are the most magical moments in Storybrooke. Can I help you? Are you Emma Swan? Yeah, who are you? My name's Henry. I'm your son. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Once Upon a Time moments. I'm Prince... Uh... Charles. Prince Charles. And I'm Princess... Leia. For this list, we've compiled a mix of Once Upon a Time's most memorable, shocking, heartwarming, and heart-wrenching scenes. Fair warning, there will be spoilers. Number 10. Prince Charming Awakens Snow White These two sure have come a long way from carriage ambushes and wild goose chases. While this true love's kiss is one of the most iconic of moments in all of storytelling history, this rendition between Charming and Snow couldn't have captured our hearts more. You found me. Did you ever doubt I would? Truthfully, the glass coffin gave me pause. The unlikely pair have fought beside each other as well as against each other, giving them the sense of humor only true partners could share. Aren't you a real Prince Charming? I have a name you know. Don't care. Charming suits you. Even though they didn't meet under the most romantic of circumstances, this true love is nonetheless genuine and real. Watching the pair fall in love on screen, as well as off, makes this classic scene a truly memorable moment. Please never have to worry, I will always find you. Do you promise? I do. And to you, Snow White, promise to take this man to be your husband and love him for all eternity. I do. Number 9. Pan is revealed to be Rumpel's father. <sighs> Delving into Rumpelstiltskin's past to see exactly how he came to be the man he is was a really thrilling adventure, to say the least. I'm letting go of the thing that he's holding me back. You. Nothing was more shocking than to discover his own father was Peter Pan himself, the boy who never wanted to grow up. But there is a way that I can stay here. A way that I can get the pixie dust to work so I can fly again. Just like I was when I was a boy. In fact, not even the cast members were aware of Pan's true identity until the show aired. And when it comes down to it, we can see that Rumpel's self-destruction and mad chasing after power started long before he'd lost his son, Balefire. <laughs> Like Jennifer Goodwin has said, each generation is caught in a cycle of sacrificing family for power. Peter Pan as Rumpel's father can only make sense. We're a lot more alike than you care to admit. We are nothing alike. Oh, of course we are. And it's nothing to be ashamed of. Neither one of us was cut out to be a father, my boy. Number eight, Belle makes Rumpel leave town. Rumpel's still skin. I command you to leave Storybook. From the instant she swoops into the clock tower to the moment she has Rumpel take them both to the town line, this is a pivotal moment for Belle. I try to be everything for you, Rumpel, but I wasn't. So much so that this scene has to be one of the most heart-wrenching the show has to date. Once I, I saw the man behind the beast, now there's only a beast. One of the bigger themes of the show is hope. So it's devastating, but at the same time strangely satisfying, to see Belle finally lose hers when she forces Rumpel over the town line, making him lose his powers and unable to ever come back to Storybrooke. Please, I won't be able to come back. I know. I, I, I don't want to lose you. You already Even more agonizing to watch is the dark one on his knees just over the town line, with Belle finally and completely out of sight. Belle! Please. Number 7. Hook and Emma Kiss at Granny's Diner Killian may be a pirate with a take-whatever-I-want-whenever-I-want attitude, but when it comes to Emma Swan, he is putty. And while there's nothing quite like the first kiss, being on a mission to destroy a powerful pre-adolescent maniac can shadow things a bit. It doesn't look like I need your help with Emma after all, mate. You think that kiss actually meant something? 
The kiss between them at Granny's diner, however, is truly where the relationship between Emma and Hook begins. Everything's back to normal. You're a bloody hero, Swan. So are you. You have to hand it to Hook. Every kiss seems to precede an act of great heroism on his part, whether it's saving Balefire or racing against a curse to find Emma. The man did give up his ship for her, after all. You traded your ship for me? Hi. Number six, Emma Swan becomes the Dark One. Relax. I'm right here. With the darkness loose on the town, Emma has to think fast in order to save Regina and anyone else from being taken over as the next Dark One. What's he doing? What darkness does? It's knocking out the light. Out of all the obstacles the people of Storybrooke have had to face, Nothing quite takes us aback like the savior herself becoming one with darkness. There has to be another way. There is a In order to keep the promise she made of giving everyone their happy endings, self-sacrifice is a hefty and unexpected price to pay. You figured out how to take the darkness out of me once. You need to do it again. These heroes. In this scene, being your own worst enemy takes on an entirely different meaning. Number five, Rumpel loses Balefire to the land without magic. What are you doing? Papa, it won't stand for long, let's go! Watch out, watch out! Papa, please, it's the only way we can be together! There are two shockers in this scene. Not only does Balefire show the courage that his father and grandfather never could, but it's also the only time Rumpelstiltskin ever goes back on a deal. You coward! You promise! Don't break our deal! I have to! Holding on to the land of magic with one hand, the Dark One lets his son fall into the portal alone. The moment is forever seared in our minds as Rumpel immediately regrets his decision and desperately digs at the ground, calling out for his son. I want to come with you! Bye! 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 Who would have guessed that almost 30 years later, Neil, who Emma falls in love with and is Henry's father, is also Rumpel's long lost son, Bay? Bay. You came back for me. To make sure you didn't hurt her. Number four, Emma and Henry have to leave Storybrooke. You will take them because you're the savior. You were created to break the curse. And once again, you can escape it. It's one thing for Regina to give up the thing she loves the most in her son Henry in order to break Peter Pan's curse. It's quite another thing for that sacrifice to require Emma and Henry's complete separation from the family they've so desperately fought to restore. Emma, you have to go. I just found you. And now it's time for you to leave us again, for your best chance, for his. Regina does give them one last parting gift, and that is, ironically enough, to erase any knowledge the two have of Storybrooke and their family, replacing it with memories of each other. My gift to you is good memories, a good life for you, And Henry. Watching the little yellow bug drive away from the enchanted town with everyone watching them leave was an emotional, unforgettable moment for viewers. <laughs> Number three, Regina finds true love. I let you down. Your heart was lost to Zelina on my watch, but I promise you, I will get it back. From finally letting go of her first love, Daniel, to fleeing a bar where her other soulmate awaits her, Regina has come a long way to finding her happy ending. There he is. The guy with the lion tattoo. That's him? Pixie dust doesn't lie. When the evil queen we love to hate finds true love, you can't help but be happy for her. What do you see in me? Hopefully the same thing you see in me. A second chance. And you're quite a good kisser. Between her troubled past and some outrageous decisions that can only reflect her nature as a true baddie, it's nice to finally see Regina on the side of true love. Well, maybe things work out when they're supposed to. Maybe it's all about timing. 
Funnily enough, her first encounter with Robin Hood and Storybrooke is when he tries to shoot her with a crossbow. From then on, things only get more heated, not to mention tangled between the two. Be truthful, righteous, and good. I have tried to live by that code every day of my life. Then why are you here? Because today is not one of those days. Number 2. Emma Kills Hook Killing the very person you love is the tragic twist of fate for everyone involved, especially after the strenuous work Hook had gone through to finally have Emma open her heart up to him. I'll never stop fighting for us. All you have to do is trust me. Come on, the moment where he tells Emma that she's his happy ending is what fairy tales are made of. That alone melted the hearts of viewers everywhere. Right, if you're afraid of losing your happy ending, that means you found it. What is it? Don't you know, Emma? It's you. But in order to destroy the darkness forever and die a hero, Hook has to be stabbed by Emma with Excalibur. In fairy tales, there usually is another way. But with the darkness trapped only for a brief moment, this shocker of a scene is the only choice they have. Ah! <laughs> Before we unveil our topic, here are a few honorable mentions. And out of your suffering will rise my victory. I shall destroy your happiness if it is the last thing I do. their parents fall in love. Number one, Emma awakens her son Henry. There couldn't be anything more endearing than Henry waking up from True Love's kiss, courtesy of his mom. There's no shame in admitting you shed some tears. <laughs> While love has conquered all since the dawn of storytelling, it's still a happy surprise to have Emma's kiss for her son break the curse, starting them off on a real loving relationship. You saved me. You did it. This true love's kiss isn't exactly what we were expecting, but it did fit quite perfectly. It was also beautiful to see everyone remember themselves and each other. You found me. Did you ever doubt I would? Not to mention humorous to see Emma meet her parents, essentially for the first time. Grandpa? <laughs> Do you agree with our list? Which Once Upon a Time moments simply thrilled you? What's happening? He's the next author. For more endearing and surprising top tens published daily, be sure to subscribe to Ms. Mojo. Yeah, sorry about the mess. I really needed to find that book, and I'm usually a bit tired, yeah. Oh! <laughs> How many times do I have to tell you, love? I'm a survivor.